Hi y'all. Hi Derm. It's been a it's been a that week a up and down my mood. So I met up with my friend Gloria. Um in a, I keep saying it's a horse box, but it's a, a removal lorry. I have done a video clip of it a couple of days ago, so I will um, put it up after this. That's really nice. Um, really like where I am in Cornwall. Lots of park ups, lots of full timers, and thought I'd found my winter park up um, or a couple of park ups. Uh, some really nice people. I know where I can get free water from. There's a long drought. Um, there's a few places with toilets if I need them. There's a swimming pool if I need a shower. And there's, you know, yeah, there's quite a few full timers. So, you know, there's people to call on. But I've had a few reality checks. Summer is over. So basically I've been sitting in this seat for about an hour and a half. It was pitch black when I woke up. I was dreaming that someone was getting beaten up really badly. And then I woke up and I think someone was getting beaten up really badly and it infiltrated my dream because there was, somebody was screaming. It was a bloke's voice. It sounded like it's being murdered. So I sort of, I stumbled out of bed, got into my driver's seat. Can't see anything because it's pitch black at six in the morning. Just hear this horrible, horrible shouting. Screamy, screamy shouting. Couldn't see nothing. No lights on anywhere. I assumed it was coming from, a, there's a couple of vans around. It was coming from one of the vans. I don't know. It stopped. Shouting. Still pitch black. Ten minutes later, I saw a bloke. I could only see him because he had a cigarette. So the cigarette lit him up. Walking about. Then another van had um, an interior light on and the bloke with the cigarette was sort of walking over to that van and then walking away. Then walking. It was like he was trying to decide whether he should go and knock on the van or not. So I don't know if, he, if he'd if he been disturbed by the shouting and he was investigating. So I don't know, someone could have been murdered this morning. I felt really scared, like really scared. I felt vulnerable. And you know, it's just when you get a taste of reality of the of the... You don't know what's going on. And then I missed the city. And I thought, you know, I'm a city girl. I know the noises in the city. I'm comfortable, even though statistically cities are more dangerous. I feel safer in the city. There's a lot of space here. You don't know what weirdos are out here. <laughs> Strangely enough, I did get bought a knife yesterday. A really nice knife. For um, feathering my wood and pruning and you know cutting twigs, I also got um, given a been really spoiled since I've been on the road. It's amazing, um, like a little um, pruning saw. It's really cute. Love it. And now I know why blokes get excited about getting not having knives. I never got it before, but I was so excited to get this knife. Um, that was Joe and Jackie bought that for me. They've come over to see me. But my moods, my moods since I've been ill, I don't know, and the change of seasons, my moods are like this. And I keep trying to lift myself up and then I dip back down. So I think I just need to accept that I'm feeling a bit bit down. Reality, van life reality is setting in. Um, haven't been cold. I burnt my fingers last night on my wood burner, silly cow. Lit my fire. Burnt for ages. It's lovely, beautiful smell. For some reason, I put my fingers on the top. I mean, they're all right. They're not even blistered, actually. I just put them straight in my mouth. Uh, anyway. Yeah. I don't know. At the end of the day, if anything happens, I know I've got. I've just got to get my driver's seat and drive off. A woman had a go at me the other day because Foxy had pooed on the grass like dogs do. And before I got a chance to clear it up, she started shouting at me that Foxy had pooed. 
And I think I was feeling really ill on this day. And I think the fact that I was feeling really ill, I took it personally. I felt like I was being judged. I had this on my Adidas hoodie. I had my Adidas tracky bottoms on. I'm in my red van. The dog's got three legs. I looked really scruffy. And he pooed. And I was sitting um, on the grass eating some lunch at the time. I just felt judged. Because I was feeling ill. I felt negative. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's mad. In the biggest scheme of things, you know, world problems. I haven't got any problems. I just, my mood is just low. Saw beautiful sunrise the other day. About three mornings ago. Absolutely stunning over the beach. I did record it. Oh, yeah, I'll upload that as well. <sighs> so I've been sitting there for about an hour and a half. Foxy's still asleep. He's snoring. I slept well, but I woke up to some blood curdling screaming so someone could be dead, for all I know. I'm going to go to the swimming pool today, I'm going to have a shower. I think I just have to accept that winter is dark. I always hibernated when I lived in a house anyway and shut down from the world. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do this winter. It's not moaning would be a good idea, I suppose. Just get on with it. I've just got to get on with it. This is life. It's pretty sweet, really, considering. I don't know what's going on in the world, either. Like, I haven't got a clue. Don't listen to the news. I could wake up one morning. There could be a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I wouldn't have had a clue until I see, like, zombies running around. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, just feeling low, really. Mad. From like having four months of amazing holiday in to like, rum straight down. Yeah, I think I've been spreading myself a bit thinly, socialising. And now this, yeah, anyway, I'll see you later. So here I am, I'm out with my friend in her mansion and we're just going in. <laughs> Are you ready for us? <laughs> Here's Harry, beautiful Harry. Say hi. He's gorgeous, look. And here we go. This is, this is the creme de la cremes of <laughs> with my espresso that she's made me, look. <laughs> so far, so this is the the, the wood burner. So it's four point five kilowatts, oh, is it? Four, yeah, four it's beautiful. Look at that. Just put this in last week, didn't you? Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. We're actually going to go log chopping and um, wood and pine cone collecting in in a moment. So let's just come up here. So just give you a little nosy. <laughs> you made all this, didn't you? Yeah, here, yeah. absolutely beautiful. I mean. Yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I've avoided getting you in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> just yeah, so then you should stay in mind. So just just a little nosy. <laughs> and the beautiful Harry again. <laughs> Goes with the sofa. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> <My flowers>. Okay. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>